Hi everybody, welcome to Lounge with Lizzie. I'm Lizzie and welcome to a quick short about what your person would tell you right now if they could. This is all signs. We're going to get into it. All right, so your channeled cards. This is your pile, by the way. I drew all different kinds of cards. <laughs> all right, so, ooh, slide into my DMs. Reach out to me. Talk to me. <laughs> By the way, I just made barbecue chicken, so I probably have barbecue sauce in my nails. <laughs> um, I gave this connection up to the divine, so they're not trying to control anything. Maybe they're waiting to hear from you. Love on the brain. They're thinking about you. They're daydreaming about you and your life in the future. Um, maybe thinking about what they would say to you. They could be writing songs about you. Speaking of songs, oh, I had spicy barbecue. It's so good, but my acid reflex does not like spicy. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> All right, so we have Mario wins. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. If you're playing me, keep it on the low because my heart can't take it anymore. And if you're creeping, please don't let it show. Oh, baby, I don't want to know. I think about it when I hold you and looking in your eyes. I can't believe. I don't need to know the truth, baby. Keep it to yourself. Ooh, don't tell me if you have someone sliding into your DMs. Um, if this is like a situation where you're not in communication, not in contact, they're scared that they're going to lose you to someone else. So they're like, oh, don't tell me you're talking to someone. Tell me you're waiting for me. Or you're the, I'm the only one that you want to talk to. But there is some reason why this person would tell you that they gave up this connection to the divine. <laughs> I feel like I have barbecue sauce all over me, but I don't. I can just smell it. It's delicious. It was really good. I'm picky about my barbecue sauce. It's him. <laughs> All right, so the side hustler, the hanged man is how they would describe you is like maybe this person just feels like they're a side piece to you or that you have a side piece because they're Mario Wayne's I don't want to know like I don't want to know if you have a side piece. I don't know if you've, I don't want to know if you've moved on without me. They can't. I kind of feel like this is either like your ex or like somebody who feels like they missed a shot with you. Your energy to them is the survivor, so you've gone through a lot. They would be like, if they could talk to you, I feel like they would tell you, one, they don't have a side piece. They think that you do, but also that they're trying to probably get out of some karmic situations or some great adversity in their life. But with this love on the brain, I feel like you are their lighthouse, their north, keeping them rooted and focused. Like you're their main person, but I feel like this person either knows that you're not their main person or that you can't offer that if that makes sense i am waiting patiently this yeah this person's waiting for you to come back waiting for you to be done with somebody else like i know that you don't really but i gave it up to this i gave this okay that makes sense getting choked up here i feel like it's hard for this person to see you with someone else either you're either married in a long term or they just fucked up and just feel like they don't have a shot they're seeing you with someone else but they're waiting patiently either for your anger to diminish and to come back to love on the brain or for you to be single yeah you're unavailable or they are if they're with someone, they're like, I'm waiting for you. They're not having sex with this person. This person could be very toxic with the survivor. Or this person's like, look, I've been someone's side piece. I've been hustled. I've already survived this. I don't want to be your side piece. I don't want to be with someone who's a player. I'm waiting patiently 
for the right person and I'm unavailable to you because <clears throat> you're not the right person. It could be that as well. But we do have playfulness and mature woman. So either they're saying um, you're becoming more nurturing if you're a male or if you're a female, they think that you're growing up. Maybe that's why they're waiting for you. Maybe at some point they thought like they had to give you up, but maybe they're seeing a change in you or feeling a change in this connection. Or they've grown up and if they're the one that was unavailable in the past, kind of wishy-washy, to me this would be like saying, I'm sorry, I was unavailable, now you're unavailable, so I'm waiting for you to kind of like do your thing and grow up <laughs> and flirt with me again. Like grow up and be ready for a relationship, not like grow up as a person, not saying that you're immature, it's just like, sorry. I don't know if it's going to snow again. Today it's freezing. I don't know what is happening. It's almost June and everyone's like, is it going to snow? It's like 30 degrees. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm freezing. Um, but yeah, this person wants to definitely flirt with you and express their feelings. I think they would be like, I've grown up a lot since the last time. Like, I want to show you that I'm mature. Capricorn energy, so they could, this is like devil energy, chill time, out in nature, quality time, family bonding, giving it to spirit. Again, giving it to spirit, they're hoping and praying for you. They're probably spending time out in nature trying to clear their energy, but they, you are an addiction to them and they would tell that, tell you that they had to put you on a back Either they put you on the back burner because they feel like they were losing themselves or they put you on a back burner because they had other options or you did. Storm warning, being protected. This person is talking about rejection, rainy day fun, contingency. Yeah, they just feel like they're a backup plan to you and they would definitely say this like, I want something like, I don't just want flirty, like, I want a mature relationship, but there's unavailability here. So I feel like this person would be like, we just need to take a break until we both grow up. Like, I don't feel like this person wants to just be friends. So it would be like, either they're with someone and they're seeing where it's going and they would express that to you or they're expressing that you're seeing someone and they're like, look, I gotta let you go. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep you know, a candle burning, but at the same time I have, I am waiting patiently, so I feel like ha it's split, half of you are like, I'm done, like, I can't wait anymore, I've grown up, you want something for your, yourself, you're healing, I got the hiccups, sorry, um, you would still love this person, you're waiting, but you can't see them with someone else. So either you're totally ignoring this person, getting your shit together. I feel like this person is like, reach out to me. That's their main message to you, but let's get the tarot. We have the hanged man. Yeah, you're in separation, no communication. You're unavailable to each other. That's why they want you to slide into their DMs. They're wondering if you're with someone, if you still think about them, love on the brain. You're unavailable or they are. They could be with someone pining for you or vice versa. Maybe you're like on vacation or like a, at school abroad somewhere and they have to wait for you to come back for summer or something like that. Could be if you're like um, high school sweethearts coming back from college or anything like that. So much in your head about this. This person is so anxious and they would say that like, I'm afraid of losing you. I'm afraid of you saying you're unavailable because you're dating someone else. They're thinking about, I think they write messages to you and then they delete them because they don't have the gusto to send them. I feel like they would be expressing that. But they want to come together and have fun. I think this is an energy of like, let's just be um, either friends this summer because you can't offer or we're just completely going our separate way because there's a third party here. So I hope that was helpful to your situation. If it was, if you want more shorts like this, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up below. If you like my energy, please subscribe and go ahead and share this to any of your friends or family who it may resonate to.
I appreciate you guys. I love you. And I will see you next time. Toodaloo, boo-boos. Bye.